Hey there, everybody. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. This is Gabriel Vision to Lamette, and you've tuned in for this F4 series where we focus on faith, family, fitness, and food. So we're going to talk a little bit about food today. I think that's a good thing to do. I saw that a lot of people did enjoy the fact that I've been talking a bit more about the food aspects of things here on this channel because my transformation has been absolutely something great, and I'm just looking to give as many tips as I can to have as many people people as possible who are looking to have a life-changing experience inside and out. I want to give whatever I can just to be able to help us all move forward as a healthy community. So the thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about regarding food is one of the things that's become kind of like um, my secret weapon when it comes down to wanting to be able to have what would be considered to be a guilt uh, type of food, uh, which is fried type of food, but not having to worry as much about the saturated fats or uh, the cholesterol that can come with it. Um, all of those different things that can really add to bad health and bad health habits. So the thing that I would like to actually spotlight today is definitely recommending that you get an air fryer. An air fryer is going to be your friend. Unless you're a person that only likes things baked and grilled with that type of presentation, um, you're going to want to add an air fryer to your repertoire of being able to cook. Even with me being a vegetarian, so it's not that I'm looking to do a version of fried chicken or something like that, there's still many things that I'm able to fry. Um, one of the things that I like to fry uh, within the air fryer are actually French fries. Um, I'll cut up some red potatoes, uh, drizzle it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil or pan spray, and I'll put that bad boy inside of the um, air fryer, and it hooks it up and is really delicious. Um, also, I even like doing like uh, breaded vegetables in there. Like I've even gotten to a point where I'm able to season broccoli and it actually, for me, it kind of reminds me of a fried catfish once it's done with the type of seasonings that I add to it. And maybe I'll do a video on that so then you can also see what I've actually done with that. But it's really good, it's really delicious, and it works out well. Now, I know that there are many, many, many different types of air fryers out there. Um, you can see them at Walmart or Target's or wherever you might see, or even on Amazon or eBay, all that. The particular unit that I have though is the Power Air Fryer Oven. Again, that is the Power Air Fryer Oven. And that one is perfect because it's large and it allows us to do certain things at the same time. So as you guys know, I'm a vegetarian, but my wife and my son are not vegetarians. They do get down on the stuff sometimes. I'm starting to see them come to my side. But it's one of those things of we're able to actually cook several things within there for the entire family and we have enough room. So it's not like it's just a small pocket that you just put it in and each person has to wait 15 minutes to get their food. No, we cook everything at the same time. And so that is a great brand. It is one of the best purchases I would say that I've had within the last year or so because we've had our unit for a little about a year or maybe a little over a year but it has been a spectacular grand slam of a purchase for us and it's become a critical part of us being able to have certain types of foods that we enjoy just without all the things that can compromise our health at the end of the day. Also with this air fryer, you're able to bake, you're able to do whole chickens if you want. Um, there are so many different things that you can do with this particular um, oven air fryer that are so beneficial and you just practically click a button and walk away, which is awesome amazing thing as well so you don't have to sit there and babysit what you're doing completely there is some attention to it but obviously it's not as much as if you are standing over hot oil and grease and having to turn and everything and control the fire etc also with this particular unit the cleanup is so easy it is ridiculous uh, we used to have like that new wave oven. We stopped using that even before we got this because the cleanup was a headache. We hated having to do it. The cleaning was in phases and things like that. With this one, everything is easily clean. So it makes 
your easy guilt-free meal perfect because you have an easy cleanup behind it. And so that's a couple of the things that make this particular unit to me stand out in such a good way that I would even look to talk about this particular product on my channel. And so this is good, especially if you've got kids that like, you know, nuggets and things like that, or you like your fried fish or you like your fried chicken, um, or if you like, um, you know, the uh, potato squares and things like that, or onion rings, things like that. You're able to do all of these things with that unit and it works out wonderfully. I can put those in there and my son will get down on french fries like if he was eating the ones from McDonald's and he really enjoys them and it's become our way of being able to give him things that we know kiddos like, but we know that we're being responsible parents and how we're giving it to him. So that is our video for today. That is our review. Make sure you get yourself an air fryer. Uh, an air fryer is definitely gonna be your friend. And um, if you end up getting it, or if you do have it, leave a comment. Tell me what's your perfect thing to be able to get um, cooked with having your air fryer. And then also just one last thing before I go, I do wanna mention this. A good thing to get to accompany you with having an air fryer is make sure that you have some type of book that tells you the different types of things that you can do because sometimes there are things that you can do with particular models of an air fryer that you would never even imagine that you could actually do. And so there are a lot of different things that can be done with these units, but you gotta have some type of book so you can do the homework to know what's available to be done. So. That is our review for today. Thank you for joining me for this F4 episode, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye-bye.